Okay, now that I've got the, uh, the engine on the stand, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the flywheel. Now off camera, um, I pulled off the clutch and the pressure plate. Um, it was pretty easy, it's just uh, nine bolts that hold this thing on and uh, a little bit of prying around the edges here and it just pops right off. I did that off camera just because it was easy and I didn't have the camera charged. So that's uh, not quite as interesting as getting this off. This is a 52 millimeter nut and you're gonna need one of these to get it off. It's uh, not something that's in a standard uh, home mechanics toolkit. So if you don't have one and you need to pull this off, you're gonna have to go out and buy one. They're a little bit pricey, but uh, they're absolutely necessary to get this thing off. This nut is held on with theoretically around 300 foot-pounds of torque, so you're gonna need a, a, an impact wrench to get it off. Um, I've got an electric one. It's, uh, it served me well. Um, it doesn't get everything off. It depends on how tight these are. Sometimes they're Loctited on uh, and then th this thing has trouble. So then I have to resort to my uh, air tools. But I think I'll probably be able to use this uh, because I did not lock tight this on when I put it together. Now this is uh, like a three quarter inch socket that I have to step down to a half inch to work with my gun here. So we're gonna give this a shot. Good. All right, here we go. Okay. Now one thing I wanna point out is that in order to get that nut off uh, so the wheel doesn't want to spin, you should use a, a flywheel locking tool like this one I got from, I think this came from Racing Beat. Um, I can't remember exactly. But uh, this thing just locks it in on the, on the ring gear so that it doesn't move and makes it easier to get off. So um, I managed to spin this off pretty easily. That's good. The next step is to uh, pull the flywheel off. Now to do that, you're going to want to Put this uh, nut back on because this is held on, this flywheel is held on uh, with a taper joint. And because of that, you can't just pull it off. You're going to have to bang around the, the face of the flywheel in order to break it loose, to break that, uh, that taper. And what you don't want to have happen is have this thing fall off on your foot because, uh, yeah, you'll... You'll probably use up every swear word you know, and maybe make up a few new ones. So I got this on so it's not gonna fall off when it starts to pop off. So I'm just gonna hit on the face of the flywheel with this rubber mallet. Try not to hit the, the nut. Let's see if it's starting to come off. You have to get a good whack. Okay, looks like it came loose. Yep. So carefully, while I'm holding on to this, I'll spin that off, rock it a little bit, and just pull it off. And there we go. Flywheel's off. And that exposes the end plate.